Hey everyone, welcome to a new week of series 15 and we are at the winter festival playlist. As usually, I'll show you the weekly challenges and also the cars that I use for the championships. So let's have a look at the Forzaton. Here at the Forzaton shop, we have the Lancia, the Evo and also an Audi Quattro. We have modern race suits, a blue and a red one and of course the super wheel spin and the wheel spin. So let's have a look what we need to do here. We need to own and drive the 2005 BMW M3. Uh, you can't buy it in the auto show, but you can buy the 2006 Audi RS4. But normally you should have the BMW also from a pre pre previous uh, season that we won that car. We need to earn 12 stars in speed traps. That's combined, so that doesn't really matter. We need to do three road series events and also we need to have show off skill combos. Now I'm sitting in the M3 and I'll show you which one I did. Now I always go here to the beach. Let me have a quick look. So I just, oh, excuse me, I need a speed trap, not a zone. So I just use always this one because it's just an easy one. Um, I start from this side and then you either take the Audi or the BMW and you just go uh, you just go till you have 12 stars for that one. Now the next one here is the three road series events. Now you can use the blueprints that I've been using for months now. I'll put that off, I'll put my road series on. That's here at the mud kickers so when you go to here you can uh, go to custom blueprints and then you can either search my gamma tag or if you follow me you will see that that's an anything goes so you can always take any car from the Fortaton you need now the next one here is a show of skill now what you need to do what i did because you need to pass someone drifting I just took dirt series and the one I took was it it was just a circuit race at yeah it was Ashbrook loop I just started the race and since you are on a street tuned car in the snow you just need to pass uh, the Dravatars while you drift in a corner <clears throat> just while by driving the the circuit event you will have it so that's what you need to do Pass drifting an opponent, but I would recommend doing in a circuit race in a dirt is easy. Okay, let's go to the championships. Now the trial. I'll go on the map. I'll put everything back on. So the trial here, we need a Peugeot, Audi or a Lancia. Now I always stick to my Lancia. Because I really like that car. Uh, I've been using it for months and months and months. Um, it's the... What was that? B-Class. So this is the car that I use for the trial. Now, if you have the car, if you played last week, I think it was. If you have the Audi, this one. This is also a good one. It's a little bit faster than the Lancia that I'm using, but I didn't tune the car. Um, I find the Lancia is a little bit more grippier than this Audi. So you can choose what you prefer, but I just take my Lancia that I've been taking for months and months now. Um, so that's what I like. Now the car that you win from the trial is a car that we already have.
it's a uh, Peugeot. This one, the Forza edition. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, showcase that's with the hello that you need to do now here at winter games let's have a quick look the winter games is at the beach and you need a 800 off-road buggies so let's go to a 800 my favorites a and then off-road buggies let me go there you go now this one a lumicraft is not that fast so the best option of course is the aerial nomad mm, the rip rod is also good but i don't know I've, i will take the nomad because i prefer the nomads but you can also take the rip rod if you have it so that's what you get now the car that you win from that it's the mini It's the mini, the buggy. This one. This car you win from the playgrounds. Now let's go to the next championship. The community championship. That's Evo VS Impreza B700. The first, it only are two races. The first race is very cornering. I don't know, it's like really a lot of cornering. So what car did I use for that? I use... You need the B-Class. And the car that I took for that is the Subaru, the 2005. Now, what car can you win from that? You win the 2004 Subaru. So, I drive the 2005 and I win the 2004. Now, let's go to the next one. The Power Struggle. That's AMG VSM Sport S1. And we have Rhodes. Now, I was very surprised. I had that car already tuned uh, a long time ago. But I was really surprised how good it, how creepy it is um, in the snow. And this is the 2017 Mercedes AMG GTR. I really recommend you this car. It's fast and it's very grippy and very good in cornering on the snow. I was uh, surprised myself. Now, what do we win? We win a nice BMW, the M3 GTS from 2010. Now, let's go to the next championship. Oh, that's the wrong one. Excuse me. This one. Here it was an interesting championship. You can have the Peel, two Peels, a Reliant and a Morgan. Now I'm not taking the Peel in the snow or the Trident. So I tested out the Reliant. But uh, you will see in a second in a little video. But I stick to the Morgan three wheeler because that was actually just the car that is easily the easiest uh, to use in this championship so I used this little three-wheeler here and it was funny to drive
Now, what can we win from that? We win the nudge back. Where is my nudge back? Oh yeah, my garage is full. But we win. Uh, I I still need to delete cars out of my garage. But we win the nudge back. We already have it, but we win it again. Now let's have a look. Let's go to the PR stunts. I take my muzzler. I stick to my muzzler also for months now because I just love that car. So let's go to the PR stunts. Now here the first one you can choose where you want to start. You can actually start here from in the grass but if you take the muzzler itself you can start uh, from the top because acceleration is fast enough to actually get it. Now of course you need to look Oh, the Dravitas made an accident. But if you get the car in third gear, you are fast enough to actually have that. But you can also start from this side and drive your way up. Well, not if you drive in reverse, of course. But you can also start from this side. You just need to watch out, there's a lot of traffic. Well, I had a lot of traffic. See, as you can see, this side is actually a little bit faster and easier, but that's up to you what you like to do. Then here we have a speed zone. You can start also from both sides. I just started from this side. Now this is uphill. It doesn't really matter with the muzzler. The muzzler is just fast enough to do this. You just need to be using your throttle right and don't go too fast in the corners because the muzzle goes very fast see it doesn't really matter you get you get it anyway and of course i fail at my video like usual <laughs> but i got it from this side i'll quickly drive from the other side it doesn't really matter If you, if you don't do anything, you can't make mistakes, right? So, let's do it this way. I still like to struggle in games. It's more challenging. There you go, that was enough. But you can do it in both sides. I did it uphill. Then this one. This one is like, yeah, are we gonna hit the con concrete or not? The best thing to do is like do just one run so every all this junk here is gone. And as you can see, this is a little bit of an annoying one. But um, you do not need to be very far with this car. I think I started just from here. And that gave me enough, uh, enough speed. <laughs> it's not working. Unbelievable. I have it every time on my videos. I don't know why. I did it only twice here because the first time I actually hit the thing and then I had it. But yeah. There you go. And then you just use the active error. This is not far enough, but you know what to do. But I use the model for that. Um, it's getting very common that when I actually record that I make the mistakes in my video. But that's okay. That's what most people have when you actually do it. Now here is the Ryzen story, the monthly that you need to do once and then the online adventure. So I've done everything except playgrounds. That's uh, for Saturday. I've not been feeling very well with my neck. Uh, so I'm going to try to stream Saturday again and do the playgrounds and help everybody out. Um, at 50% we win the TVR Tuscan and at 80% the Koenigsegg CCX. There you go. I hope my car choices helped you getting winning the championships. If not, we will be there on Saturday on YouTube streaming and helping everybody out. That's it. If you have questions or whatever, just call, just send us a message or come to Discord and we will help you out. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.